And now it's going to be Warlock. Where's the Shaman? And it's a Handlock again. So Shaman has the potential, if he gets the Earth Shocks, and we see he has one on his hand, to, to counter the Twilight Drakes. To counter the Twilight Drakes, the main problem is if Skip is just getting his Giants early and there's no Hex, even if he gets an Ancient Watcher and Iron Beaks, Iron Beak outs that one, it's going to be extremely annoying since what is Tanak going to do? He, ne he needs a Rock Biter plus two damage, so either he sacks his Unbound Elemental or he has a weapon, the rock by, uh, his his weapon, his axe, Stormforged axe. But if not, he's going to have some trouble with an Ancient Watcher. Yeah, we see he will most likely just. Would you go for the coin Watcher? I would. I would coin out the Watcher. Coin Watcher, then drop Iron Beak Owl. Is a play I would consider here, and he it's says nope. Well, the advantage is you could have already killed enemy totem if you wanted to, or already deal four damage. And that 1-1 one, one is useful until there is a mortal coil coming for Skip. Oh, there is a mortal coil. So that's that's useful for him now. Can just kill the totem. He really wants to draw a mountain giant or a twilight drake. But I think it's a wrong attempt here. He should have just gone for the ancient watcher. It would have been so much threat for Tanag, actually. Yep. Oh, mo motor, motor coil and a motor coil. And there's the ancient watcher out. Yeah, you can of course silence it next turn. We talked about it already, but I feel like he missed a lot of opportunities by just playing so slow. Yeah, he he played it rather slow. I guess it's okay. Mm. He could. Hmm. We have a that, Twilight that Drake, but yeah. that's risky. Twilight Drake is risky because of the Earth Shock. He could also Hellfire and Soulfire to clear the board, but then he would lose three cards. So his Twilight Drake would be yeah, way way weaker. <laughs> Is he really going for the Twilight Drake against the Shaman? He kind of needs to go for the Hellfire. Yeah. Maybe Hellfire so far. But if he goes for the Twilight Drake and that gets vaporized, it's going to be so annoying for him. Yeah, he's going to take seven more damage. And he has no Molten Giants on his hand right now. Not, e not only seven. If there's a Flame Tongue Totem, it could be already 11. Flame Tongue Totem plus Rock Biter. There's some, there's some annoying plays incoming. Yeah. Loses Sun Fury Protector. That's that's fine for him. Well, he does he doesn't want a Sun Fury Protector. He wants to silence his minion. So as you say, it's okay. And we see Leroy for Tanak. So that's not only mid rangey Shaman. There's also Leroy in. Maybe Leroy Wind Fury, but at least Leroy Rock Biter, and that's already nine damage. Oh, he can he can drain an owl, so. That's okay, or just drain and coin out Twilight Drake. But now we will see that Earth is Earthshock, and well, Earthshock is so annoying. It's gonna throw some tears in your eyes. And he couldn't. He cannot only Earthshock. He could also go for the Rockbiter weapon if he wants to, just to get rid of the four two. I think he wants to keep it. He wants to keep it. He already has Alakir in his hand. He has Leroy, maybe Wind Fury in his deck. But Leroy Rockbiter in his hand too. So as you say, he really wants to do turn 8, 12 damage. Or turn whatever with Leroy, nine. 18 damage. If, turn, he has a if, he, if he has a Wind Fury. That's really what he wants to do. And the spell damage showed him out for him. So Lightning Storm is getting even more value. First mo Mountain Giant, finally. Better late than never. But if he plays it, if he plays it... Let's con let's let's consider he plays it. There could be just a lightning storm incoming. Would it would it work? It hits for four. That's not enough to nope. kill it. Just totem Argent Squire, defender of Argus, to just bump the board with everything you have. No, one hellfire is already gone. So. And his Argent Squire is gonna survive that anyway. Because of his 
Divine Shield. If there's no other damage cards following up. And that's a potent board now. You only you have four weak minions, but they will well they will save you at the moment from danger. He he can kill the two two, the one three, he can just throw a mortal coil to draw another card. Also silence Argent Squire. There's some there's a lot of plays possible for him. He could even siphon soul, but that would be kinda <laughs> overreacty. That's the first play. And he has a Ragnaros in, so Skip has a really beefy version of the handlock roaming around. Maybe Argus up, maybe silence the 2-2 two -two and just kill the 1-3. That would that would that it sounds like the best play, since you're able to kill the spell damage totem, which is just every time a big well, threat. Yeah, but then he has no silence for his watcher. Well, if he silences his Watcher, it will be on 1 HP, and that feels like just just extremely useless. He can heal it up with his Urza and Ring Farce here, but he also, has the, he also has the Defend of Argus roaming around, so in theory, he doesn't need to taunt him up. Uh, he doesn't need to silence him since he can taunt him up, but if he silences him, it feels kind of greedy for me. Yeah. The 2-2 two -two will survive if he's not Siphon Souling it. So we, we talked about it. There could be a Siphon Souling coming. I think that's the best play. Since he or he still has one of those Siphon Souls. Good job, Tana. Getting in Hex here. Well done. So <laughs> just get rid of the Mountain Giant if he wants to. And as we said, there's Alakir. There's Leroy. He has so many options to to burn him away. Wants to check for a Taunt Totem, I think. But even still with the Taunt Totem, I would still Hex. Just get rid of it before he thinks about... Well, he, he with the Taunt Totem, he could still Shadow Flame his Ancient Watcher, burn away your board, and deal 8 damage to your face. And there, there is a possibility of a Ragnaros next turn. Mm. We might see... I think he should silence his watcher, heal him up, trade. Silence and heal him up is an okay play. Can agree here. If you silence, you should absolutely heal up or at least defend of Argus. But only with Argus, he, he's on, yeah, he's, he's just on three HP. That's not enough. So you definitely need to heal him up completely. But the problem is if you silence him now, and the the lightning storm is incoming. This is going to be so annoying. And not only lightning yeah. storm. Next turn we will see lightning storm, fire elemental, possibly. That will kill the board no matter what. And Skip really thinks about going Iron Peak L or not. Well, there there we see the silence. But as we there's Leroy, Rockbiter, Wind Fury. Eighteen damage. GG. He can just clear yeah. the zero it's one. Over. And it's the first time we see Wind Fury. This is this deck works, but uh, let's say only only five out of ten times it works like this. You need you need to have Leroy. You need to have Rockbiter. You need to have a cleared board or at least the potential to clear something. But well played for Tanak here. <laughs> Skip must be extremely mad <laughs> when when he played possible. And he goes for Druid. And it's a token druid. So token druid, and even a fork. We even see a fork lightning in Tanak's deck. So it's not only Leroy, it's also built against Rush a bit to burn away those Zulogs, for example. Haven't seen it in a long, long time. And as you see, token druid? We haven't seen a token druid in ages. And a sucky oh, hand here. A really bad draw for Skim. Now you, got, you got those early minions, but you're just drawing swipe and roar and roars more or less that dead card for a long long time but tanak's hand isn't that optimum also i mean he might have an unbound elemental and a lightning bolt but that's Un it unbound is quite good i would innovate out my violet teacher since i have a follow-up move with my golem next turn and then turn four, you have a follow-up move with your swipe. So that's a thought process about uh, behind 
but he's already running low on cards then. And you normally you want to use your spells when you have the Violet Teacher out already to spawn those small minions, which are great to to clear totems as well. But yeah, you're, you're right. He wants the board pressure right now. He gets silenced, and so it doesn't matter if he has any spells, and can just drop his Harvest Golem next turn. And the good thing is here that silence is not gonna hit your Harvest Golem, so he will be spawning his little, sm yeah, his little friend. And if there's an unbound incoming now, we might just see it getting swiped. I would expect it gets swiped. Well, you could also just Wrath and attack with your hero ability. No, no reason to not. You could also go for your Harvest Golem, hit him once, and then Wrath for a card, and then kill him with your hero ability. But he's just not playing his Unbound, since there is a Lightning Storm in his hand. Is he going to draw a card? I, I would almost say it's okay to draw a card here, but you got your turn 5 follow-up. So it's okay to play nothing this turn, just clear the totem, rush the face. Yep. Draws a card. Let's see what he gets. And we have Argent Squire, that's that's actually decent. So you can get more and more minions out. The important thing about Ar playing Argent Squire is you have three minions out. Savage Roar. So that would be six damage plus Savage Roar would deal eight more damage. So you could deal next turn 14 damage already if you want to. There's no need for always the Force of Nature Roar combi. It can work like this. And there's Leroy, Wind Fury, Rockbiter again. Turn 7, 18 damage, but now he needs to deal some damage until that turn. He needs to survive. Well, he needs to survive and deal some damage to just finish with the play. That's his number one what he wants to do. Another Violet Teacher. <laughs> that hurts. Play a big taunt, maybe? Well, the I was thinking about just rush the face, but the Lightning Storm is going to be so devastating. Exactly. If you rush the face, you could do 4, 7, 9, you could do 10 damage, bring him down to 14, and hope you win next turn with a Ras. So pretty deceiving play here. Or just run in one Violet Teacher plus one of the Golems to get the Unbound killed. It's also okay. Now if he wants to kill his Violet Teacher, he needs to go for a Lightning Storm plus Rockbiter. And then even uh, the 1-1 one -one would survive. So it, it's okay. It looks okay for Skip again. Token Druid might be able to win a game here. There is a Rockbiter combo gone, and he overloads him, so there's no follow up with a Leroy, uh, with a with a Philomental incoming. Yeah, only thing you can play is the Unmount Elemental, of course. Double S Savage War. So if he plays Druid of the Card, charges in, brings him down to 15. Next turn, he could deal 5 plus hey, 12 damage. That's lethal. That's, that's lethal next turn. That's lethal next turn, whatever he does. This is going to be so annoying. So it's 5 damage and Tom he gets... Totem could have rescued him, I think. Every character gets plus 2 damage if you don't know how Savage War ro works exactly. So every character gets plus 2 damage. Your hero too. So you play Savage Roar, you get plus 6, you play another Savage Roar, you get plus 6 again in total, and you just deal so much damage. <laughs> and it's enough to win the game wow. here for Skip. Turn 7, Token Druid win. That went instantly. Yeah, the Shaman just Trollbury here against Skip's Token Druid. I think he needs to go with the Warrior. Yeah, and he agrees. And he has a few Warwicks on his hand. Not only that, he's also playing a Spellbreaker. Which Have is really good. Is should work out good for him. And he has a nice starting hand with Slam, Fury War Eggs, and Armorsmith. But Skips is not looking super bad also. There's already a Power of the Wild Keeper to silence whatever and a Rest to kill early minions. And Plus a swipe. swipe. Nice. But against the control warrior, he's going to have a way harder time. There's also a Cairn already roaming around. So, yeah, especially that Fury War Axe is going to cause some trouble. He hover He's hovering over Paw of the Wild. But if he plays it, so he, he's most likely going to play it, it's just going to get Fury War Axe. 
And he plays it. Now it's going to get Fury War Axe, that's no secret. And Tana gets in a great advantage since he can kill that minion. And even if a coin, innovate, whatever, Violet Teacher would be incoming, there's still slam, slam and Fury attack Wars. again. And Skip is only drawing spells and spells. The one in most own uh, useless thing here in a token druid. Well, at least without having a Violet Teacher on the field. I would maybe think about Taskmastering up my 1-4 minion to a 3-3. Three, three. To apply more pressure? And to apply even more pressure, since you're, you're only doing one damage at the moment, and that's not quite a lot. Not working in your favor as well as you really wanted to. And there's a Violet Teacher kill we were talking about. This is going to be slam kill slam without any kill hesitation. Works. Easy. But now I, I would just I would just damage her up to oppose a bigger threat. I guess it's absolutely okay to do. Even though there are two races, so your minion is gonna die, still you got one armor, you dealt three damage, and he uses his ras. Nice, Zoo Drake. Oh he's getting That's an important minion for him right now with two swipes on the hand and a rest and oh he gets an innovate. Perfect top deck here for skip. Really nice innovate here, is able to clear that minion. Well, and now Tanak has himself no follow-up move. He could just drop a Spellbreaker, but that feels like stupid to use it. If he shield blocks and gets no shield slam, there's a 4-4 on the board being annoying. There might be Karen, but if you play Karen next turn, it, it would just get keepered, it will just get 5 damage swipe, for example, and an Argent oh, Commander for perfect. his Perfect. So he didn't have any good early game, but he's just getting some really nice follow-up. Well, there could be Silence Shield Slam, and I would prefer that move. Silence Shield Slam? Yeah, just sh Silence the right one and Shield Slam its brain out. It seems a good play. He could also well win Double Taskmaster. But that um, that's okay. Or just well win Shield Slam. Could use his faceless as well. Could use his faceless to kill the 4-4. Four four. That's actually a nice move overall. And then next turn still kill the 4-2 with a shield slam. So that's a, a nice play. And he gets rid of his faceless because he knows in the token druid the the yeah, the mobs are not that big. The minions. That's correct. Play. So with, with with a faceless against a uh, token druid, you either going for facelessing your own minions like Karen, or you just faces an arching commander because that that's the most rushy minion you're going to find. There is not any other minion upcoming, and that turns out good for him since you're. Wow, I personally don't think that's a good idea. Nope. Well, you're denying him the option to clear. But you could have just killed that minion easily next turn. I don't see a reason to 100 person do this. There will be just well keeper incoming, just clearing the Argent Commander. Would you go for the keeper? I would keep my keeper wah wah, and go for Druid plus ra plus Wrath. You could also go for Druid because plus Wrath. Because there is so like we know of course that there's a Cairn, but yeah, Skip doesn't know that. So Rast plus Druid, but you need to charge it up if you go for the play. Yeah. You need to charge him up and uh, do that maximum amount of damage. Since, well, oh, you're hoping for Rast now, it would be 6 plus 6 again. So you could deal 14. With a Rast, you could deal quite a lot. You could deal 18 damage you if you want to. can clear the board, but costs so much card-wise. Well, it costs Three a lot card-wise, card but it's absolutely okay to do it here since you got completely rid of his rush. You're on 21 HP in the safe zone now. I would say we're going to see that Keeper now since it's absolutely yep. deceiving to play it and get rid of the Taskmaster. And there's a Savage Roar we were talking about. So next turn, he could have dealt so much damage with his two minions out. Now, it will only be four, five... That would only be 9 damage. That's not a lot. But he might top deck a Force of Nature and then deal his 14 damage instantly. And then win next round with double swipe. <laughs> he nope. goes for Karen. 
I think I would have maybe dropped Ragnaros or my weapon since Karen has no impact at all I would let it innervate uh, 8 10 4 14 damage not enough you could double swipe him if you want to still double swipe your ability is 9 is 11 damage you would bring him down to 10 and with the force of nature war win the game but it feels so risky to do it's it. It's super risky because you rely on the fact that you're going to draw the force of nature. And if he has an Alex and plays it and then just trades away, you're not going to win. You should just try to do as much damage as you can well now. Actu actually, you would win with, <laughs> with Innovate Hero Ability. Exactly. Force of Nature Roar Innovate Hero Ability is exactly 15 damage. That's like the most amount of damage you can you can deal without having two roars. So Force of Nature Roar, Innovate Roar is the most damage you can deal with that combo. And Tanak is down to 19, while Skip is still hovering around at 30 with the armor. But as we already see, there is Karen out and there's Ragnaros, for example, upcoming next turn. That's some huge amount of damage. But now he decides to go for the weapon. Why? Uh, he wanted to armor up. That's the reason. But he didn't need to armor up. But, like but if still he had played Ragnaros, he would have yeah, it would increased be the tempo. It would be extremely okay for him. So I don't see a reason to not play him. And there's Force of Nature, Roar, Innovate. No. So the big question is, are you going for Force of Nature, Roar now? Just a no, deal? No, no, no. You're going to go for Double Swipe. But you can deal double swipe always. If there is that one defend of Argus in a control warrior, we saw it often. I would take the chance. Because if, if an Alex Strasser is coming next turn, you lost. No matter what. No coming back. I'll rather take the risk that there's this one Senjin Shield Master in the deck, but the it's way more likely that he would have already played it. So the definite play is go for double swipe, in my and, opinion. And hope for... Hope for no Alex, and well, if there's a shield block, that would hurt your face too. But well, we see none in Tanak's hand by now. That's game. Well, don't 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 call it. There's Acolyte of Pain, Taskmaster, so he can still draw a shield block, and it would still bring him into the safe spot. There's only a shield slam, so as we see here, we can call it extremely lucky for Skip getting that it's force of nature. It's not extremely lucky. Well, it, it's okay. Lucky. Oh, well, that, that he got the force of nature. Yeah, okay, that he got lucky. the force of nature. It was well played yeah. in the end. As you say, he did it the, the right rotation if there would have been an Alex. There is no Alex. So it's obviously uh, easy mode for him now doing those 14 damage. Could could also do one more. And, well, Tanak calls, I will crush you. Skip greets him. Wins here. <laughs> Two.